Hey guys, welcome back to my Swift tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to measure gyro data uh, for your app in Swift. So, you're not actually going to be able to measure just on the simulator, so I'm just going to build it and it's not actually going to work on the simulator, but you can build this yourself and then you can try it on your own device, like connect your own device up and then try it um, and it should work. So it's going to be like one of those videos where I can't really demonstrate it, but it will work. So what we're going to do first is, um, I don't think I really need to do anything in the storyboard because it's kind of like, it's not really going to display anything, but I guess I could put a label here and then um, just put it in the middle and just do that. And I could just label this something like, um, gyro x axis so this label um, if you are going to actually uh, use it you just link it up and this will just display the x axis of a rotation rate which we'll find out later so let me just call this label now let's actually get coding so first you want to actually import something called core motion and this is quite important as uh, you will like need it. Um, next, you um, want to go here, and you actually want to create a uh, movement manager. So let movement manager is oh, I spelled it wrong is equal to cm motion manager, and this is just going to track all of our movements. And then here we can start the gyro uh, gyro updates start gyro updates and we're gonna have to create a timer here which just in, um, like it just updates at regular intervals to check what the gyro update is at so um, we can just create a timer like if you just want to see what the gyro is at at one point you could just create a let data just check it doesn't crash movement manager dot gyro data uh, gyro data and then if that works then you can just print uh, not print you can just set the label dot text to the data dot rotation rate dot x so you can see I have x y and z and I'll just choose x um, is this not? oh yeah we need to convert this to a string okay so now this should work if you just want to check it once, but we want to be checking it a lot, so we're going to have to put this on a timer, and the way to do that is you just do timer.schedule timer, and we want the one which doesn't have a repeat, um, like that, and with time interval we'll just set that to one second, repeat true, uh, no timer, in, and then in here we can just put this code inside of there. So, uh, oh, we should put self as well. So, let's run this now and let's see how it works. And you see, it's not actually going to do anything because you can't measure it on the simulator. But if you try this on your own device, it should work well. Um, like, let's just say else, uh, oops, and then else print no gyro data. Uh, then it should just print so we can see it's printing every second since that's when it's updating so yeah this is how you use um, the gyro data in Swift thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial bye